Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to the next video of the All Rounders. Today we are going to discuss about plastic, a revolutionary invention which has become part of our everyday life. Watch this video till the end to find out why should we say no to plastic. So let's begin. Centuries ago, man began to produce elastic substances from eggs, meat and horns. Various objects were made from those substances which we may describe as the most primitive form of plastic. In the 18th century, Charles Goodyear mixed sulfur and some chemicals with natural rubber and produced many new chemical compounds which were later used to make plastic. So, what is plastic? Plastic is a man-made substance which can be molded into any shape. Most of the raw materials used in making plastic are derived from animals and plants. Plastic is also produced synthetically from petrochemicals. Some forms of plastic are found naturally. Petroleum is the basic ingredient of all types of plastic, so carbon found in petroleum is its necessary component. Other components include hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen and sulfur. A molecule of plastic is called a monomer. These molecules join together to make chain-like structures called polymers. In chemistry, these polymers are known as plastic. Molecules in various types of plastic are joined together in different ways. Let's discuss the types of plastic produced in initial years. The first type is parkside. This type was produced by Alexander Parker in 1862. He made it from cellulose, which is derived from plants. The main feature of this plastic was that it could take any form when heated. The second form is Bakelite. This plastic was manufactured by Belgian-born American chemist Leo Henricus Arthur Bakeland. He was preparing a coating for wires used in electric motors and generators when plastic came into being. It was a bubble-shaped material which turned solid when mixed with wood, powder and asbestos. This plastic is extremely resilient to heat. Electrical appliances, switches and telephones are made of this plastic. The third type we are going to discuss is polystyrene. Shortened to PS, this type of plastic was manufactured in 1872. Petroleum is used on a large scale in manufacturing polystyrene, which is transparent and hard. It's the most widely used plastic. Computer CDs, packing material and crockery is made of polystyrene. The fourth type is nylon. This plastic is 100% artificial. It was prepared in 1930 and was named polyamide at that time. It was durable and soon became popular, so its production rose drastically. It is used for making nylon cloth, valves, machine seals, and electrical appliances. The fifth type is a polyester. Polyester is mostly used in the cloth industry. It gives softness and strength to clothes, filters, boats, Cables and bottles are also made up of this plastic. Polyester is used extensively as a sealant. It seals expensive wood to protect it against moisture. My friends, do you know that plastic bags number the trillions and they are the most commonly used item in the world. Some of the most common places we find plastic is wrapped around the things we buy every day. After all, it's an effective way to keep food and cosmetics clean and fresh. So, plastic is used in Number 1. Food Packaging Cereals, snacks and many cheese and coffees come in plastic. Most cheese, meat and yogurt is packed in plastic. Number 2. 
milk cartons. Waxed cardboard contains approximately 20% plastic and 80% paper. Number three is metal cans. Metal cans are often lined with plastic. Number four is personal care products. In addition to coming in plastic bottles and tubes, many shampoos, gels, creams, moisturizers, and makeup contains plastic. Number five is dental floss. Dental floss and disposable razors are also often made from plastic-based materials. Number six is synthetic fabrics. Polyester, nylon, rayon, and acrylic yarns and fabrics are all made from plastic. When washed, these materials shed millions of microscopic plastic fibers that eventually wind up in waterways. Number seven is wrapping paper. Wrapping paper is often a mix of plant fibers and laminated plastic. Tape, glitter and stickers also contain plastic. Number eight is chewing gum. Yes, even gum. One common ingredient included in the gum-based listed gum labels is polyvinyl acetate. Number nine is cigarette filters. Cigarette filters contain cellulose acetate, a form of plastic. Glues, including school glue and wood glue, contain polyvinyl acetate, a type of plastic. Number ten is that the glues used to seal the tea bags include polypropylene and that is of course another plastic if i may tell you the 11th one that is the coffee cups even those that appear to be made from paper often have plastic in the lining from all of these examples my friends you know that plastic items have really become an essential part of our life Almost all food items and packed and sold in plastic bags. This unnecessary use of plastic and its improper dumping has choked the sewage system and polluted the environment. We need to decrease the use of plastic bags and dump them properly to protect our environment from pollution. Solid waste management should be observed. Plastic should be burnt or buried underground, away from the population, and its usage should be stopped. As plastic pollution keeps increasing, it is urgent that companies take action and move towards business models that don't involve wasting the planet's resources by turning them into disposable packaging. People all over the world are already finding real and innovative solutions to focus on reusing sustainable materials instead of throwing away plastic. It's the time for companies to follow and deliver the real solution, reuse. So would you like to see less plastic in your home and less plastic waste in the world? Here are some long lasting plastic alternatives available right now. Stainless steel tough and easy to clean stainless steel options for reusable food and battery storage have multiplied in recent years you can replace single-use cups kitchen storage lunch boxes and more with this durable metal glass while not biodegradable glass is inexpensive and infinitely recyclable and since many food items come packaged in glass Upcycling glass jars into food storage is a no-cost way to give your food packaging new life. Jars from jam, honey, pickles, nut butters, and so much more can be added to your no-waste toolkit for shopping from the bulk bins. They can also be repurposed to store leftovers and homemade drinks or decorated and turned into homemade gifts. Platinum silicon made primarily of sand food grade platinum silicone is flexible and durable it is also heat tolerant so you can boil bake and cook in these products without danger of denaturing look for silicone products without plastic fillers beeswax coated cloth 
used primarily as a replacement for plastic wrap and plastic bags, Beuse wax coated fabric is easy to use and easy to clean. It also smells great. Natural fiber cloth. Natural cloth can replace plastic bags. Sustainable clothing made from organic cotton, wool, hemp or bamboo won't shed plastic fibers when washed. Felted or recycled wool is a versatile, safe and compostable material for children's toys, household containers and more. Wood A renewable resource. Wood from the sustainably managed forests can replace plastic in household items like cleaning brushes, kitchen utensils and cutting boards. Bamboo this fast-growing renewable resource can replace plastic in items like tableware and drinking straws. It is lightweight, durable, and compostable. Pottery and other ceramics Around for millennia, pottery and other fired ceramics offer a stable, waterproof alternative that's good for food storage and tableware. Look for non-toxic glazes. Paper in days gone by, many things were packaged in plain paper. And while better than plastic, paper can't be recycled infinitely because every time it's reused, the uh, fibers get shorter, limiting its use. Luckily, all paper except the glossy kind is safe to put in your home compost. Cardboard. Cardboard is fully compostable at home as long as it's not coated in, you guessed it, plastic. Many companies are now packaging their products in plain cardboard to cut down on waste. You can also use cardboard boxes to replace storage containers in your home. My friends, many campaigns are launched all around the world to stop the plastic pollution. We can individually and nationally try our best to decrease plastic from our surroundings in order to live in a clean and healthy environment. During the pandemic of COVID-19, it has been observed all around the world that because people have to stay at home, they don't buy much products from the outside. That is how plastic products and packaging has decreased. Many cities around the globe are now plastic free. We can also say no to plastic by reducing, reusing, recycling and using the plastic alternatives as discussed earlier. Let's promise to ourselves, our nation and our world that we will stop plastic pollution, get rid of it and make our environment plastic free. Stand by me and say no to plastic. Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe our channel by clicking the red button and pushing the bell icon to get the latest notifications when we upload the next video. Hope you enjoyed and learned as well. Goodbye, Allah Hafiz.